everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for another edition, actually a special edition of YBM Cast. Today on the show, we have our GAC Coaches Preview Show. Today we have from the GAC South with us, Coach Justin Rogers from Troy Buchanan High School, the Trojans. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, Coach, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me, Brian. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for your coverage of youth baseball in the area. Ah, it's it's appreciate it. it's fun, man. It is a lot of fun, and I appreciate that. And I want to give a shout out to you here because I, I was I, the first time I'd done this. I was up at the um, the coaches meeting, the Missouri State High School Baseball Coaches Association. Did I say it right? Yes, sir. And uh, he was the only one in in, in kind of a, a business dress. <laughs> Well, there was a few others, but yeah, yeah. not many. Most everybody, you know, the coaches are in their 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 gear, right? Yep. And I was like, oh, and uh, but uh, president elect. Yes, sir. And somehow. Somehow. Mistaken judgment by a few people, probably, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you about that though, coach. What uh, what what precipitated that? How'd you get involved in that? You know, I, I go to that clinic every year and mm-hmm. just been talking to Coach Perkins, you know, about being interested in getting more involved, helping out any way I could, and it just kind of came up that was an opportunity, and he said I could help in that area, and I said yes. There you I'm, go. I'm really glad I did it. It's already just being this year at the clinic, the networking. I, I was talking a lot more to a lot of other coaches that maybe I wouldn't have just naturally associated with, so – it was fun, and it was. It's been a positive for me already personally as a coach. It just kind of opened some doors to uh, some other coaches around the state that I may not have interacted with right. otherwise. Right. So I'm glad not I just did went it. up and introduced and said, "Hey." Right. Yeah. yeah. And you do that sometimes. It's not really easy. Sometimes it's easier than others, but right. it it kind of opened some doors for some nice conversations with you know, some really good coaches. So I'm I, glad I'm glad that he asked me, and I kind of you know was willing to stick a foot out there and. It's been positive, so I'm happy to happy to help, happy to be involved. Very good. I, I understand, you know, because what I do, I, I have to stick my nose in there, and sometimes you don't know how people are going to, you know, re- receive that, ask, you know, and reciprocate. And because uh, no matter what, you know, you put yourself, you shake a hand or whatnot. You, yep. It is that way. So that's good, man. But I've I've been amazed at how the baseball community, especially high school baseball coaches, are so approachable and willing to talk about and share anything. Not that, that's everywhere. That includes coaches here in the JC South. You know, like Absolutely. it's really cool. Like the baseball community is they're really mostly a bunch of guys that are here to help each other, and they want to see players learn and get better and do the best they can and it's it's really nice and you wouldn't necessarily think that you know sometimes it's like no we're competing against each other and but it's not that way you know a lot of great coaches that are just willing to help with anything so it's really cool to see that I think it's fun because you know and being that guy that has reached out to a lot like coaches like yourself last year you didn't know me from nobody you might have seen the show here there but really didn't know what to expect right and um I think the big thing with with this is, you know, that's the thing. You're not trying to hurt nobody or this, that. This is just, we're talking baseball, and that's what it should be. And at a high school level, it's about the kids anyway, right? Yes, sir. Growth, trying to help them understand what it is to be a better player and things of that nature. And I think that's what the the coaches clinic and the that uh, association's focused on, right? Yes, sir. Yep. So. That's awesome. And that man. association does a great job. I mean, it's just wonderful to be a part of it. They've got a good thing going. and There was a lot of dudes up there. Yeah. I think it was the biggest one that we've had. Really? Uh, yep. I believe so. Wow. And I, it was fun because I got to meet um, Brian Ash, Southern Boone coach. He's really good. Uh, yeah, good yeah, I'm guy. looking good forward guy. to it. I'm looking forward to having him on the show. I'm going to – I know we're talking to this. We'll get to – Yeah, Because I, I just was – you know, I was impressed uh, coming up there and seeing – I love the involvement and a young guy like yourself. You have family and kids, I'm sure. Yes, sir. And so to put yourself in that position, that's not always easy either, is it? Because the wife goes, what are you doing? <laughs> right. Yeah. She may or may not have known about that before it went down. But uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too much extra work, Very so good. to speak. But because uh, they got a really good thing going. Yeah. And I think it's kind of just take what we've been doing and 
Keep it going. Keep it going. Yes, sir. Very good. So let's get into this uh, Trojans baseball. Uh, coming off a 14-22 and 22 record from last year, you have six returning seniors, so that's a little light. So you're going to be young this year. Um, let's get into this. Let's start. I, I, always, I always love to start at pitching and defense, Coach, because I'm an old Dodger guy, Tommy Lasorda, you know, pitching and defense, hit a couple bombs, try and win a ball game. So it always kind of, that's, that's my perspective of things. But um, uh, it's going to be tough because your, your number one guy from last year, Cade Naughty, you're going to have to replace him. Yep. Which is no easy feat. No, he's he, he's a dude. Yeah, I mean, a- so he, absolutely. He competed against everybody. <laughs> absolutely, he's a bulldog. So, yeah, I really enjoyed watching him pitch last year. Yep. Uh, he competed. We we had you guys out at um, against Zumwalt West, yep. and uh, he pitched a heck of a ball game against. Yep. A very, he competed. He competed out there, man. Boy, Kept he us did. in the game. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so got a couple of names here. Um, because you got four guys that we're looking at here. Uh, Jackson Carroll, is it Avon? Yeah, Avon Weaver. Avon Weaver. Yes, I, I didn't. I want. I hate to butcher people's names. You know no, what I mean. You got it. Good. Josh Weedman, um, uh, Caleb Eisenbath. These are guys that kind of stood out. Uh, they they contributed last year. Yep. Where do you see these guys falling into the framework this year, Coach? I think all four of those guys will get a uh, quality high number of innings for us. You're pro- probably looking at 30, 30 more innings, hopefully, as long as everyone stays healthy. That that should be a group of guys that we could definitely count on to uh, go out there and compete, uh, those strikes, keep us in games. And I think they can do that against pretty much everybody. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're looking at uh, – Avon Weaver, he, he was one and two, but his ERA was one seven five. Um, that's pretty solid. Yeah, Weaver was good for us last year. Right. I mean, he was kind of sneaky under the radar. He ended up getting thirty innings. I think he was second on the team in innings last year, only behind Caden. And uh, he pitched some conference games and he threw the ball well. And he's he competes. So then you got and and Weedman. It's Weedman. Is that Weedman? Weedman. 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 Okay. Yes, so the E is not silent. And, I mean, this is the tough thing. You know, you had some tough losses in there. A 2.08 ERA. You got some guys, a 2.19 for Eisenbath with innings. These guys weren't giving up a lot of runs, Coach. No. I mean, if you look at down the stretch for us, and that's really – Caleb really turned it on down the stretch. You mm-hmm. know, and even Jackson Carroll, too. They both had a couple rougher outings early on. But down the last eight to ten games, they are both throwing ball really well for us last year. And we finished well and played better defense. I, know, I think you're ahead on right, that a little right. bit later. Once we got the consistent defense, uh, we played really well down the stretch. I think we won six of our last nine or something like that and beat some quality teams in that too with Marquette and Zoom All yeah, South. exactly. Uh, we should have beat Holt twice probably and just <laughs> gave it away at the end. And there was a few conference games like that. Right. I mean, that's where I'm you know, optimistic on – you know, how we can perform, but we just got to finish games. Yeah, yeah. We got to stay in games and finish games. So there are plenty of games we could have or should have won that didn't go our way where we just blew it late or for whatever reason something happened and we didn't finish. But it's not like we were out there getting – Just getting r- hammered. Getting run ruled right. Getting hammered every game. Exactly. Uh, we were competitive and had some success at the end. Ended up put ourselves in a spot, though, total body of work where you got to play Howell the first game. And you know you got to go through them anyway, but you'd like to not play them first round of districts <laughs> if you can help with that. It's always a plus. Yeah, yeah, I get Maybe you. Maybe get them second, third game. Right, right. But you know, we'll see. And I love this because you've got two kids here that are seniors. You got two kids that are juniors. So you know you're going to have these the Avon uh, Weaver and Josh Wiedemann juniors uh, growth. I mean. That that whole idea when you got four guys, who else? You, I'm sure you got a couple other guys. Are you going to have some depth in your pitching staff this year, Coach? That way, I think so. I think we will. I think there's a few other guys uh, with the guys mentioned that can provide some more depth. Whether it's guys who got maybe less than ten innings last year, mm-hmm. but we use them in relief that could start that were really good in relief. Um, also, some guys coming up from JV that 
we think will throw strikes, compete, and keep us in games that maybe didn't get varsity experience last year as sophomores, but guys that we think could be competitive and you know keep us in the game, give us a chance to win. There you go. I think our depth of quality of guys is is okay. We feel pretty good about it. The guys we have. Sometimes it's it's Nes. You know, you might have two or three. There's some teams that have two or three quality guys and whatnot. But then that depth has to have that same quality, especially when you're talking about the GAC and the and the the uh, level of talent. When you start getting into district play and you start playing two three games, you need that Saturday guy that can go out there and and throw some innings for you, don't you? Yeah, and that's really a difference between like having an average season and a great season. Is do you have somebody throwing on the weekends that's keeping you in those games too, or? Do you have just a couple guys that can maybe win a conference game for you? I mean, the depth overall is what's going to you know, really push it in terms of, like, season wins and losses. Right. And I'll be honest, I, as far as replacing Caden, I don't know if we're going to look at somebody that's like Caden Adi this year, but I think we might be deeper, you know, one through eight, nine, ten, whatever it is, you know, however right. we want to go there. Quality of depth could be possibly better. I love that. I do. I think that's awesome because, you know, it isn't – it's everybody going out and doing the job. And once you get into those late innings sometimes, you don't want that fall off either, do you? No. <laughs> no. And we got we got a couple guys we like there too. Uh, and we'll see if we might need one of them to start, how it's going to shake out. It's so, so hard to tell right now. Yeah. You know, who's going to need to fall in where. But we've got some options that we like. There that you we're, go. We're excited to see how it shakes out. Defensive, defensively, with you know, you're going to have everybody talks about building from the you know middle out. You got that catcher, second, short, and then center field. You struggled, as you said, finishing games, a couple of mistakes here, or there, whatnot. How does that feature defensively? Where are, are you going to be? Do you feel solid up the middle in your defense this year, coach? I do. Uh, we think we're pretty strong up the middle with Ryder behind the dish, uh-huh. Caso at short, and Drew Schulte, who's headed the jury out in the center, and he's a good player. Yeah. All those guys are really good players. Yeah. Actually, and I mean, Caso and Ryder are juniors, uh, sh- so they're not committed yet. I think they will play if that's what they choose to do, and I think they both want to right now. Um, Schulte is going to jury, and he's, he's fast. He's a good outfielder, gets good reads. Uh, he's a good ball player. So we're and excited about – what we have there up the middle very good and that's usually i mean that's key to it isn't it you gotta you gotta have that middle of your defense if you got and we were talking before we started you talked about jackson Ryder being a kid that came in kind of later in the season but really solidified your catching position talk a little bit about that defensively especially with the depth at pitching right there yeah Ryder's really good defensively uh, we had a senior last year that caught some they ended up playing third base uh, richter kessing who was yeah. he was in our lineup the whole time. He caught his junior year. Jackson ended up, you know, doing a good enough job as a sophomore that we felt really good with him back there behind the plate. And he did a great job defensively. Uh, he works hard. I think pitchers like pitching to him. He he pumps them up when they need it and he blocks balls, throws it pretty well. Uh, and he's just the right kind of kid back there. He's he's vocal, he'll speak up in situations. He uh he knows the game and he works hard. Which pitchers like to see a guy that he's he's going to work back there. They know if they need to put something in the dirt, he's going to he's going to block it, and he's going to get after it. He's out there for them. I love it as an umpire. I mean, when you're talking about quality pitching, right? And you've got a you've got a young man that maybe is a little suspect in in what you're trying to accomplish. I mean, especially at the high school level, sometimes you don't you know. Uh, you you get different umpires at the high school level. Some are really good behind the plate, and some aren't. That that's just the nature of it. Heck, even at the major league level, you see some guys that aren't really good behind the dish. Yep. So it's always good to have that kid back there that can really work for an umpire. Work, you know, framing, doing those things, those small things that might get you an extra couple strikes in a game, right? Yeah, we like him a lot. I mean, we we really feel good about that position, and we think he's going to lock it down Very and do good. a tremendous job for us. Who are you looking at center? Do you have somebody, or is it an open competition, Coach? Center field? That, yeah. Drew. 
Drew Schulte? Yeah. I thought you said it's second base. No, I said Drew in center. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry I didn't. My fault. Yeah, My Cam, fault. Cam, Casa will short, and Drew will be out in center. Out in center. So yeah. he's running everything down for you out there? Yeah. <laughs> he's fast. That's good. He, try, he tries to catch every ball. It's, it's no fly zone for him. So he's got, he's got the mindset to go get everything, too. He, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, my fault. No, I missed good. that one. So you got some open spots. Do you have just some open competition as far as what you're looking at, you know, in the rest of these positions uh, with some of these kids coming from the JV maybe side and, and juniors that are there? Yeah, there are some in some spots. Uh, you've got McDonald uh, listed there. He He's going to be playing somewhere. Yeah. Well, whether it's DH or first base, he may play some, some corner outfit for us this year. Very good. He's got some experience out there uh, with the Tigers for the summer team. And then, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, a couple spots that are third is one that's not really, you know, clear cut. Uh, second, we had Caleb Canals was playing there for us at the end of the year last year. Uh, so we've got, and we've got some experience. Uh, a few sophomores were starting at the end of the season for us last year. Weaver was hitting yeah. and pitching. And then Canals uh, started at second for us in the district game. Another sophomore last year. So you, I think we played Caso, Canals, Ryder, and Weaver. So you were still at the pretty, end of the season. Yeah, you were pretty young last year at the end of the season, coach. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we got some experience for some guys that are, we think are good players. And now they're coming back with, you know, they got a taste of varsity last year and mm-hmm. they're motivated to oh, I like that. see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you know, with Schulte, as you said, he's going to Drury, right? That's uh, the young man yep. committed Drury. He yep. had three thirty three. I, I love his slugging at five fifteen. His on base was four thirty six, and that was only forty plate appearances. Yep, he got hurt in the Midwest Classic. Did he really? Yep. So if he could have stuck around a little bit, that could have made a, an impact there. But even at that, nine McDonald RBIs this time too. Did he really? Yep. Health is is a big issue, isn't it? Yeah, you got to stay. Yeah, healthy. I mean, you got to stay an, healthy. Yeah, not an excuse. Everybody, no, but, everybody deals with that to some extent. You know, you're probably never going to have every single player healthy the whole season. Right, you know, you're going to have things come up, but it's unfortunate that last year both those guys who were key players for us the last three years now, you know, ended up missing significant time. Wow. Cam Casso had a nice season last year, 316. And as you said, Ryan McDonald, this young man, 290, uh, 435 slugging. He had six RBIs, two doubles, two triples, and a home run. So his slugging is there. He can he can drive the baseball. That's, yep. you know, run-producing stuff right there. Yeah, he's a good bat. He's a good player. And he's really improved with his uh, overall athleticism, too, and strength. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he already was strong, but he's keeps getting better. He's going to St. Charles. It just went down the last week or two. Very good. Yep. Very good. Coach, you've been – this is your third season? Yes, sir. With the program. So, you know, you're still, uh, I think, working to build that. You've got some young – how do you see your program at this point from where you were when you started to where you are now? Is it is it is it where you want it to be yet, or are you still working on those things as far as building that culture? It's not where I think we want it to be yet, but it's getting closer. Yeah. I mean, the things I'm most concerned about, it's going to be how how we're playing for each other. Yeah. Like, are we playing for the guy next to us? And are we playing the game the right way? And that's that's improved. Like, the, the little things, you know, quote, quote, unquote, the things that, like, nobody cares about. <laughs> you know, trying to be better at that stuff than everyone else. Yeah. Is, uh, it's still what we're working on. And we've progressed, but – not quite where, you know, I envision it. Right. In terms of, like, just the way we play. Does that make an impact? You know, I, I'm not – I don't know much about your guys at your freshman and JV on on those staffs. Have they been the same guys for those these last three years? Is, is everybody kind of sticking together? Is it the same dudes at the bottom helping build that culture as well? Uh, we've had a little bit – we've had some turnover there. Uh, we had Brent Lovell, who did that for a long time at the freshman level. Um, unfortunately, he had to step out. But we've got a we've got a good group of coaches this year. Very good. Feel really go, good about. Go ahead and throw a little name. Go go ahead and throw some love at him. 
Yeah, so got? we got um, at the freshman level, we got Jackson Burke and Brett Wiggers. Jackson Burke is your – He's going to be our ninth grade coach. Really? Year. Yep. Isn't that Coach Burke, Francis House Central, right? Yes, sir. Yes, I remember That's that young man. Yep. My son played uh, baseball against them and he's about the same age. When, so he's yeah. back coaching. That's yes, sir. Cool. He's, he's a good one, too. Yeah. He's going to help us a lot. He already yeah. is. Brett's been with it. Brett's been doing the freshman for a couple of years. He's a good coach, uh, coaches football. Austin Bargain was our JV coach last year, and he's going to be back again. Uh, he played in college as a Troy alum, so nice to have him in that spot. And then we got good. Jacob Thompson joining our varsity staff. Uh, you may remember him from Holt. Yeah. Just got done playing at Linda Wood. And uh, Will Smith is joining us there, too. Wow. We got Chris Dameron back as well. So. Oh, very good. Yeah, we're – Pretty good staff. Pretty excited about yeah. it. Yeah, I like Chris a lot. That's good. that's a that's that's good stuff right there. Yep. And you got some quality human beings right there. Yeah. Yep. And Matt Mueller is uh, another guy joining us too. Wow. You're feeling good about this year, aren't you, Coach? We're excited about it. Yeah. We're excited. We're, expe- think- we're expecting to do well, and that's what we want. We're looking forward to it. Getting out there and see how we can compete. I think you got some really good positives going to this year. Um, I definitely think, you know, just listen to what you, you know, we, we, uh, we didn't have you in the top 10 there in our power rankings. I mean, uh, but listening to you talk, I think you're right there. I think, you know, between, you know, it's class six, especially in the GAC is brutal. It's just tough. And I think it, it takes, uh, uh, it takes some, uh, some work to develop the program to where, Kids understand how to compete at that level. Would you agree? Yeah, and the nice thing about it is you get to find out, right? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna play everyone. Yeah, and you, so we're we're gonna find out you know, where we stack up <laughs> for sure. It's not like we won't have the opportunity. So, and it is that's the way you gotta look at it. Yeah, and it isn't like you guys. I I love the fact that the schools uh, investing into the baseball program. They've added the turf, uh, and I'm sure that's for the softball as well. Yes, sir. You know. Um, but I love the fact that they're investing in that. That that's cool. That that's got to make you feel good, and that helps the practice schedule, doesn't it? Yeah, you you can't ask to be in a better place for baseball or softball or athletics than Troy Buchanan. Just the way it's run from the top down, you know, Superintendent Dr. Penny, Mr. Smith, the athletic director. Uh, there's tremendous pride and care, you know, for athletics at Troy, and that means a lot. It makes it a great place to be. And they're 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 always going to do whatever's best, you know, for their athletic program. So makes it easier to coach, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> yeah. To know that there's a lot of support for athletics and that they want to see those programs do well in everything. Outstanding, outstanding. Coach, as always, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Hey, gotta watch out, Troy Buchanan Trojans coming out. Uh, thanks to Coach Rogers for coming in. Um, GAC, get out there, check it out. They're going to have some great baseball games. That Those Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you're going to see some big-time baseball. So if you're a Troy Buchanan supporter, get out there, support the team. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. I'm excited. I am too, man. I am too. So, again, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Do appreciate you being with us. If you like what we're doing first time here, hit, please hit that subscribe. If you've watched before and haven't hit the subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And right next to that, hit the dinger, because that's what we do around here. We hit dingers, and that will get you all your notifications for upcoming episodes. We do appreciate that. And uh, everybody, have a great day in the Lord. All you pitchers, keep throwing strikes and hitters. Coach, any advice for the hitters? Hit it hard. Oh, I like that one. There you go. Hit it hard. Folks, we'll see you all next time.